Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lee Fry. Uh, welcome. And today's video, what we are going to be talking about is another aspect of this Canon, or just kidding, not Canon. <laughs> This Sony FX30 that I've had for about the past three weeks and if you've watched any of my past videos with this camera I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not But today we are gonna be testing out the s Cinetone, and we're gonna be comparing it not really comparing it But just seeing if it's a how it looks, you know, okay, so we're going full auto shutter priority mode auto ISO and auto white balance so we're gonna see what that looks like for you know those that might not want to you know take the time to color correct s log 3 or s log 2 if you like that better whatever it is just seeing you know how good of an option this is you know for quick content uh, auto features just see what the footage looks like if there's any difference if it's better worse about the same whatever it is I know one thing, it's going to be a lot quicker for me to edit this video than it has in the last couple, so that's going to be nice. So anyways guys, so you know, let's get to it and see what this footage looks like. Alright guys, so let's talk about um, what s Cinetone is. If you are not familiar, you, some of you might be familiar because it's you know been something that a lot of YouTube Sony users have talked about since his release to cameras so real quick I don't, I'm, I don't know the scientifics behind it I'm not gonna go really big in detail about it but basically from my understanding of what it is it is a color profile slash color science that they used in their cinema line of cam cameras like the the Sony Venice you know those upper level cameras and they brought it down to their I don't say lower level, but they're prosumer, you know, mirrorless cameras. Uh, you know, they're cheaper cinema cameras like the FX30, the FX3, uh, the FX6. Uh, even though the FX3 and the FX6 aren't exactly cheap, but you know, they brought the that color profile slash color science to those cameras, so you know they can utilize. You can utilize that. Uh, it's pretty much really good straight out camera with very little color grading you have to do, and it gives you that quote unquote a cinematic look so yeah that's kind of my understanding of what it is uh i when i had the sony a7s3 i didn't really use it that much so i didn't get to play with it um so i want that's one of the things i was happy about when i got this camera is that it has that and i could test it out and use that for quicker content so i don't always have to color grade uh all my footage which can be you know can be very time consuming sometimes so yeah, that's uh, my little breakdown of what s Cinetone is. If I'm missing anything and you guys know a little bit more about it, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments below and let me know. Um, I'm, I'm not sitting here saying I'm an expert on what it is, so uh, definitely uh, uh, open to hear any more stuff about it if you guys know any more than I do. So, anyways, yeah. All right, so let's talk about using this s Cinetone profile with how I'm shooting the all auto settings going in shutter priority mode auto white balance auto uh, ISO uh, why use this quote-unquote cinematic profile and do it in all auto settings um, the reason why I'm trying it this way is because again others might have different use cases than I'm going to have but I'm using when if I have something that's I'm wanting to take my time on that's going to be a more professional esque project, I'm going to use S log. I'm going to you know dial in all my settings, you know aperture, uh, ISO, shutter speed, all that stuff, you know per, as perfectly as I possibly can. So that's that's and white balance. I'm sorry, um, but with what I think I'm going to primarily use this S Cinetone profile for is for more of like I said, quick content. I think I said that in my first video when I got this is that's going to be something that's more quick turnaround. I don't really have to do much to it. Just uh, get off the memory card, uh, you know, quick little cut up edit and get it uploaded. That's kind of what I want to use it for. I'm just kind of using this test because I haven't really used it that much. I'm using this test to kind of see what it looks like because in camera, cameras I've had before, uh, when I put everything in all auto, 
sometimes you know some cameras haven't done well in all auto you know get these weird color shifts is constant white balance going in and out hell my iphone does that quite a bit if i don't set it you know lock it as exposure or the white whatever at that you know where it's at you'll get those weird shifts um in exposure or white balance and i've had cameras that do the same thing so i wanted to see again how this does with that so that's kind of the point of this test is usually a cinetone as you know something i quick i want to turn around and it's going to look good and just kind of see how it reacts in all auto type settings that i have on it right now so that's kind of why i'm doing shooting in this format with this specific profile sports the local sports leader all right what's up guys so um, future Lee here going through some of the footage that I've shot this thing so far. Honestly, it comes out really good. One of the things I'm very impressed with, even though it's not a long profile, the dynamic range on this profile is very good. You know, a lot of shots inside the car, there's a lot of detail within, you know, inside the car, and then you can still see detail outside of it. Uh, in a lot of situations, especially when you put cameras in full auto, in my experience, um, if you're shooting you know, indoors and inside a vehicle like that, <clears throat> it might be kind of hard to see detail outside. It's usually kind of blown out because the dynamic range in that camera is not very good. So that was something I was pleasantly surprised by. Um, so as far as this SM tone profile again, for me, I think it's great for you know quick, easy turnaround stuff that I don't want to put pay too much attention to we don't want to have to do too much color grain to I'll, I'll add a little bit of color to this one but nothing insane nothing crazy um, one thing I will say um, if you buy a camera like the FX30 FX3 Sony a7s3 7 4 uh, or R7 R5 any any of their higher-end cameras that have this s cinetone uh, color profile on it I would not buy it just and shoot it the way uh, I'm shooting it because to, to me that's you know if you're, you're buying if you want to buy it just because it has a quick easy profile and you're just going to put it all on auto and that's all you're going to do I, I think you're kind of not using the camera to its fullest potential uh, it's definitely good for you know those quick turnaround things uh, internet projects maybe even for like you know you know lower end budget friendly client projects you know they're, they're not going to complain too much but yeah I, I, I think it's definitely good I definitely will utilize it more I might utilize it more like on these vlog kind of things you know because it's going to be less color grading a little bit quicker turnaround but it's I'm still going to you know for bigger things even for some of these YouTube videos I'm definitely going to be you know not shooting full auto for full auto and using the S-Log3 you know because that's so I'm going to get the most dynamic range, just the most benefit out of, the, out of this camera. But again, I wanted to make the test, I wanted to see what it looked like, and I definitely pleasantly surprised. So it's not pleasantly surprised, I'm happy with how it looks, so I shouldn't say pleasantly surprised. I'm actually very happy that the only surprise was how good the dynamic, dynamic range was. But Sony cameras have been known for good dynamic range, so I guess it's not that surprising. Anyways guys, going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy little video. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Have a good one.